So what does it take to be a reporter? Well, usually at the very least, in terms of conventional journalism, it takes a bachelor's degree, uh, usually in journalism, but also possibly in a, in a field like English or maybe history, um, or even some sort of specialty field. For example, uh, if you were a science journalist, you might have a degree in physics or in chemistry, um, training that would allow you to understand that topic better. Um, but uh, if you do have a degree in a different field other than journalism, it might be a good idea to get a, a, get a minor in journalism, at least if you can. You're at, you're at least going to have to know how to write and know how to write in a journalistic style. Uh, so there's that. But in addition to that education, you're going to have to be a certain kind of person. Uh, a, a journalist has to be someone who is willing to uh, confront people, make people angry once in a while. Uh, it's gonna, you're going to have to be the kind of person who is able to deal with stress and deadline pressure. Uh, journalism is certainly all about that. You're going to have to be creative, you're going to have to be able to, to, to think on your feet and think quickly, um, and to, to be able to quickly grasp what a story is about and, and quickly find the parameters of a topic and, and, and try to uh, quickly ascertain um, what sorts of information you need to gather in order to talk completely and thoroughly and fairly and accurately about whatever topic you're covering. I think it's also important to talk about what it takes to be a different kind of journalist. The web provides all sorts of opportunities for innovation and for creativity uh, and, and ways to earn a living other than doing it by working for a conventional news media outlet. Uh, in that sense, really all it takes is a good idea and internet connection um, and, and the ability to, to stick with that idea until it begins to turn a profit for you. Um, uh, blogging is an opportunity, for example. Uh, now it's possible to, to pair uh, advertising revenue with content you put on YouTube. And, and there are people who are actually making a living now um, uh, producing material for YouTube and getting subscribers to, to routinely monitor their information on YouTube. Um, and that really doesn't require a degree. All it requires is the ability to attract an audience to whatever it is you're doing. And with the audience will come advertising revenue. And if you stick with it long enough and have a good enough idea and interesting enough content, you might be able to make a living that way.